OK Corral. Anyway. OK Corral. Hello, everybody. We're here with another last episode of Trigon Stampede. The ultimatum, as it were, of the, the season. Yep. The, the ultimate episode. We are here. The ultimate episode. Uh, episode 12, High Noon at July. Is it the ultimate episode, though? I'm not going to lie. It's it's a pretty good episode. Um, it's got all, all the shit oh, happening in this one, man. It's... Uh, I, to preface this, this is my favourite episode since episode 3. Yeah, favorite episode yep. since episode three. Yep, that's that's a big, that's a big thing. I think I don't know. Uh episode three was incredible. Yeah, there's a lot of deaths and dying in that one as well, wasn't there? That's that's the. It, it, it's sort of it's. I guess it's the same thing where it's, it's where you get more of that sibling rivalry. Like to the extreme. It's the first time we're really sort of. That's the first time we see, the two really head to head, and now, yeah. we're gonna get to the the next time they're really head to head. Um, as we mentioned in the the end of the the last episode, uh, Vash has now become, uh, a two way gateway, through to the higher dimension, where knives has uh gone through the gate as it were to get to the, to the core to kind of give birth to a new generation of independence by feeding them souls from the higher plane mm -hmm. um so that all of the plants can become independents like them uh yeah. creating a new generation of people did you did you see that um, they're all pretty much pregnant they all got like oh yeah inflated uh bellies they do they definitely do like um some weird anime fetish thing you could have left it as like some weird anime that's a weird anime <laughs> i could have but i didn't i took yeah. it there i took it there uh but yeah. uh yeah that's that's where it's at um and obviously meryl's not quite happy about that no uh she is seeing that she's yelling at vash to she i think she she takes shots she uses the derringer mm -hmm. to even though she knows the glass is bulletproof she's been told but as we know meryl's not great at listening oh, uh okay. she she shoots twice emptying mm -hmm. the the gun into the the, the glass of the vat the, um the good doctor does make comment of like you're a stubborn one aren't you yeah yeah and and uh, by stubborn read dumb you don't listen ever like you just live in your own little world and that's why people get hurt and that's why you do things that you've been told not to do yeah yeah uh god damn it so yeah she's shooting that and then hammering out the glass with the the butt of the gun shouting at vash 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 uh and he's in the garden see this is the garden scene yes. i remember with the uh, knives yeah. this where he, he start humming in the song that Ren taught teaches him, but he doesn't know. Could he goes This is I think there's a scene in the last one where he goes like what humans? Who are they? type thing. As he's beginning to forget about his past as such and uh, the humans outside. Anyway. So he's in the garden, singing humming the tune that Ren taught him. And nice goes, where you learn that? Oh, I don't know. Somewhere somewhere in the past. Uh yep. and then uh Nice has stole the space of saying, So we got this we got this brother type thing, blah blah blah. Vash opens his hand, he has a, a red petal or a red flower grow out yes. of his hand. And then he goes, Wait, I remember everything now. And uh, nice as a space league going, yes, I told you I would protect you. And he says, you never said that to me. Yeah. You're not, was... yeah, you're not the one who told me that. Uh, yeah. And then uh, nice gets offensive. He's like, what do you mean? And like, destroys the garden dream that he's in. And 
uh, grows tentacles again. Um, yeah, Vash starts running and is aging as he goes through the the running. Yeah. Um, we should mention that on the outside world, uh, the the entire military involved in the city is emptying everything they have into this giant tentacle monster that is now <laughs> on top of a building. Yeah, it's basically roots, to be honest. But yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and so they have this big fight, and the doctor sees, it's like, oh, it's too late. You can't stop this now from happening. And then he sees that uh, the synchronization seems to flatline, and he started yep. to lose it. Nice gets yanked out of the 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 ether that he was in yep. the higher universe and flown right out into the uh out the other side of the, the tower and he's actually yep. in the sky above the July with a wing. It's so good. One it's wing so, Yes. One oh wing my god. The imagery in this do, do, episode do, do, is top notch. Yeah. I don't know. I, that, no. I like. I love. I love that. Love the imagery of this. It's so good. Yeah. And yeah. it's at this point where it seems like Meryl's cries uh, have actually gotten through to Vash, and he starts to. Now that that connection is breaking, he starts to to regain some form of consciousness and the everything is starting to come into to focus a bit more for him back to reality and the tentacles begin to recede yeah um, yeah he, he's pulling the, the the all the energy back in and the professor's like oh power is receding he's bringing it all back in i didn't think that's possible yep. boom 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 and then he, he kind of breaks free this Meryl's climbed up one of the roots in, in the thing uh, and gets to Vash because they must get through the, the glass at some point. I'm not entirely yeah, sure. So how. Vash Vash gets out, she gets yeah. out, and she ends up... She she uh, He gets out first and follows Knives out into the, the top of the, the building that they're in. And yeah, I think no. she she follows them up yeah, uh, but like because they're beginning to have it out. There's a scene where, for when he he's just kind of regaining consciousness, where she yes. she's climbed up this branch and got to, because yeah, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure the the glass never shattered or she's got inside of that type thing. Uh, anyway, uh, and then he kind of just like receives it all back in and forms it into a cube. Yes, and uh, and then floats to the ground. With, yes, with Marilyn in his arms. Uh, and then I believe Mouse comes back in. They have a, f a fight. They're like condensed this cube, and they're having a big fight through the yep. the tower and going through walls oh, he, and, and shit. He want he wants the cube bad. Oh, uh, they, because. It's his, is like, I can't send you back, Knives. Like, the gate's closed. He's like, I'll fucking pry the gates open with my bare hands if I have to. Give me that damn cube. Yeah, that's that's something he's, he's he does say later, I think, when they're actually fighting. He's he's generally very eager to uh, to get that cube. Mm. And, um... I, it does point out in the computer... It shows that because there was like a configuration before where it was like showing you the core feeding out into the plants and mm. feeding out to the independents, but now it's like everything is merged into one in the middle where it's like the cube and then the independents, and it's just a direct path now mm. or something like that. Yeah. So uh, Vash is kind of create this cube and it's very delicate. The doctor says, Oh, he's. He condensed the all the energy into this cube, and it's uh, it's not holding. Oh no. dear! How long? It won't last for long. It won't last for long, and it's like cracks instantaneously appear on it when he says that. And then uh, Nice comes in and starts beating them up for the cube. Goes through a couple of walls, gets into a room, which I think 
I think it's uh, the Doctor's study, and they mm-hmm. someone gets thrown through the window, either Vash or Knives. Oh no, Vash jumps through the window. He oh. takes the cube and bails out through the window, and mm-hmm. Knives follows him. And I think that's when they end up sort of toe to toe on the on the roof of this section or something like that. And then Meryl yeah. is following them up. You and know. he's like, because, you know, why not run headlong into danger all the time? And Vash is like, what are you doing? Run! And <laughs> Knives just fucking cuts the entire building in half in one stroke. And yeah. she gets thrown to the side. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then she's kind of fallen down. And then, dum dum dum, Wolf has appeared back. Yeah, um, he's back. And he saves Meryl. And says, uh, "Go on, uh, fighting knives is a bit of a, a foolish game here." And then he looks at like uh, Vash fighting knives and goes, "Yeah, that is, that's kind of foolish too." And then just <laughs> legs it with Meryl. He's like, "Yep, time to leave." <laughs> time to go. Uh, and they have a big well, fight. I think that says something as well, like because like Wolfwood's no slouch. Mm-hmm. Like he obviously can look after himself, but. He's recognizing that he is way out of his league. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he knows, he knows when to quit. <laughs> yeah, quite rightly. Uh, uh, so he's he's left them, them to fight, and Vash is like emptying bullets left, line, center into his into it, knives. It's so good. This whole action sequence is just gorgeous. Like the choreography yeah. is incredible. Like they're and again, like we'll come back to the voice acting where they're just yelling back and forwards to each other, just in like just consistent frustration and anger. And like he's like there's a scene where he he's fired all of his six shots and he like pushes the, flicks the gun down and then goes like da 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 quick fires, puts them back in with his thumb, and then the next time has like a mag that he throws out and just slams it in midair. And then fires more, mm-hmm. and he's just like you know he he has this one dark wing that is made of the 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 kind of tendrils and roots from mm-hmm. the from the the the, the, the vat. Oh, and I he's mean, kind of flying around and oh, just so well, good. And he's still in black. He doesn't have his red coat anymore. It's a black coat. Yes, that's right. He he's he's now more color. But yes, you're right. It's not a his clothes are dark. Yeah. Um. um uh nice clothes is all white yes oh, it, it, oh it's so good uh, anyway. um, there's a there's a a bit here and i can't remember exactly or precisely where it occurs but it is the it's the point where he's trying he's trying to appeal to him he's like Can we you need to stop and of course, he's like he never calls him knives. He always calls him Nye. He always yeah. calls him the name they had as 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 kids. And uh, I, he says something like, "You should know by now, brother. Nye has been long. He's been dead a long time, and you oh. killed him." Oh no, that's that's right there, man. Is that right? I, that must be. But that's right that, there, man. It's it's before the it's before the cube bit. No, no, it's literally it's getting burned up. Anyway, let's no, let's, yeah, I don't know. Let's literally at that point, man. Mm. It is one hundred percent at that point. Anyway, mm. um, it is so at that point. It's unimaginably so. That's at that point. Anyway, right. <laughs> Uh, so he, they're having a fight, and I think Vash gets to the wing and kind of flies, you know, falls off the top of the building and then flies away with his one wing, lands into like yep. a, a garrison of military, and they basically go, It's him! And like fire all the weapons at him. All the weapons. Yep. It's, like, it's not just bullets, it's like cannons from tanks and shit at him. Oh, yeah. And uh, this is another like, humanity bit as well. Yeah, and he's he's like, basically saying, guys, get away, run, go away, go go away. You're, it's not safe. Run away. Why please. aren't you running? He's going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, 
You go and just you. as he says that, all of a sudden, the big tank thing that's there just... There's a big line just cuts right through it, and all of a sudden, everyone that was in front of it is just a blood fountain. Legs with blood fountain, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And, and then he's like, ah! Oh, oh, give us a cube. Good. Give us a cube. It's so flash. good. It's no. so good. Uh, and then, it's about this point where he... He can't, must have run out of ability or something, or he goes, right, that's it. Yeah. And grabs the cube and sticks it into the barrel of his gun. Yeah, because he and doesn't he... care what happens to him. I don't mm -hmm. care what happens to me. I'll do what I have to do. Yeah, because he's it's like, it doesn't matter how long it is, but I'll do what I have to do for these so they can forgive me for what I've done, yep. type thing. Uh, I believe is basically what he's saying. Where because Knife is going, it's, it's too late. You've already sinned, brother. Join me. Yeah, is that well, join me in they'll the never, light side? They'll never. He says they'll never accept you. That's yeah. he's like he, he says I don't care. It's like because they will always hunt you. They will always come for you. And he's like, well, I'll run and I'll keep running, and I'll run for another lifetime if that's what it takes. And yeah. then once that's done, I'll stand by their side again. Yeah, and he's just he, knives is so infuriated by that. <laughs> yeah, he is. Was well, um, there's a scene. Is it? Is it in here where he starts? Was that? Is that maybe he's still in the dream world where he starts running and he gets shot in the butt? Like that's that's the bit here where he says he's like, "I'll keep running," and he's like, just kind of going, "Woohoo!" <laughs> yeah, yeah, woohoo! And like just. Yeah, running along and yeah. getting shot in the butt. Anyway, um, that's that's the visualization with that that part where he's like, "I'll just run for another lifetime if that's what it takes." Yeah, uh, and then um, he jumps the cube in the gun. And his arm turns into the big cannon that I kind of know from we we know from the original series how he gets his cannon yeah. arm, uh, and um, he's trying to aim it fly into space and Meryl goes ah oh, I knew he was going to fly into space put it out into space type thing and it's, uh, Wolf was like oh he's going to burn up he's, he's going to destroy himself trying to do it's this just, thing this, this whole segment of their th just this struggle because what Vash is doing is as the energy is building up it's going to come out and he's got this arm cannon that is just basically he's trying to fire it away mm -hmm. from humanity mm -hmm. and knives is like no no give me the cube like, yeah. I, like and he's like if you do that everyone's going to die and he's like i don't care give me the damn cube yeah and just this the, there's a bit where they the i think that like the viewpoint is beneath them and they're just grappled together and they form perfect half black half white angel in the sky yeah yeah it's, it, it's such an awesome just an awesome visual yeah um um and there's a i think maybe this is a scene where he basically talks about he's going to get the, the tells the doctor to get things ready release all the the plants I'm going to yeah. do it, but he says, no, there's no no connection. I'm going to make that connection. I'm going to yes. pry that door open if, if it's the last thing I do. He's so bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, like, this This is just incredible. Uh, and, like, again, I, I'll say it again, the voice acting between um, Knives and, and Vash is just incredible. It's so believable and so full of kind of raw emotion. And uh, like the whole scene is just great, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, as you say, like they're kind of fighting over this, and eventually Vash kind of gets the upper hand mm -hmm. and, and flies, just flies yeah, out into space. flies right up. Uh, and nice grapples it, goes down, and he manages to eventually gets it to fire into space, and nice is like, no, give me that, and kind of like. Uses his his knife's tentacle things to kind of like deflect yep. the blast and vashes <sighs> going, no, you'll destroy yourself. And then, and then this is where 
he comes out with the line of, yeah. Oh, Vash, Vash, you simpleton. He killed me years and years ago already. So here's the question, though, right? Because he says, he's like, you should know Nye has been gone. Nye has been gone a long time and you killed him. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? Where do you think he's referring to? Um, because I, I that seems to me that he has a very specific point in mind. It's not a flippant comment. No, it's a, it's a turning point. Um, it could easily be on the ship at some point, or it could be the point after he crashes the ships. And Vash chooses to run away from him. I I think that's a fair shout. I think he's referring to the moment where he realizes that the only way to get his to get Vash to realize anything is to bring the ships down. He's like he's he realizes that he has to be that's how that's how it has to be. So I have to be this person. And I think that's, to me, that's the point where it's like, no, that you killed him because you made me make that decision. I had to make that decision because you forced me to do it. And that's, yeah. that's when he died. Like, that was the moment where Knives no longer, like, Knives was born the moment that decision was made because that's the attitude at that point. Now, there was always, like, maybe even a sliver of, like, normality to him. Mm-hmm. Even if his reluctance to join in and his reluctance to be a part of a family, uh, but he was still there. He still, yeah. you know, he still took part. Um, but yeah, I feel like at that point it was just like, no, you've, you've made me made a, you've made me make this decision, and it has killed me. I'm different now. Yeah, could easily be that. Was um, there's a start, start on this, a start of an episode where it, it started off of. One of these episodes started off with um, uh, where it explains that they've been on a journey for two hundred years on the the spaceships, and uh, I, that that's I think that's the start of this episode. There's like a small segment before it continues back to the yeah to the the, the building where they're talking about the journey that they're on. Yeah, and it's like, and then they make the the comment about oh, it's just like being in the Wild West. Yep. <laughs> Uh, and, but yeah, I, this I just, this I, this whole bit is great. Yeah, so he um, he's he's basically flying into Vash, trying to get to the the thing, while basically getting burnt up by the big energy beam, and he's glowing. The, the conversation, eyes. yeah, yeah, like the conversation is just it's just Vash yelling at him. He's like, please, he's begging him, <laughs> stop. It's like you'll die. Yeah, and it's like he know part of him knows that he has to stop him, and it's I think it's like that that kind of dichotomy again, like we talked about, where it's like yeah, the people he's promised to save and never did, um, yeah. and that was through not being able to make the hard decision to stop the suffering or to make the hard decision to take the lesser of two evils as a path in order to save more, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, it's it's just like he's really broken up about the fact that he's he's now being made to make a choice by his brother in the same way that well, Knives feels like he was made to make a choice, even though he made the choice himself. You know what I mean? Like, it's... yeah. I, th- I think there's a, there's sort of a mirror going on there, where it's like, each of them is is pinning their the reality on on each other it's like you you're making me do this mm-hmm. um and i think but for the first time like vash is realizing it's like well it's it's not him that's making me do this i just don't want him to do it yeah um but i need to do this so i'm not going to stop but of course knives thinks he needs to do this mm-hmm. so he's not going to stop yeah it's well, I, I, I mean, the the color coordination is essentially based on yin and yang. Yeah, but it's the, the yeah, you're right. Like, there's a there's a really the visual language 
in this episode around sort of their position amongst the people, their power, their their relationship to each other is it, it, I don't want to say it's in your face. It is a little bit, but I think it's really tastefully done. Yeah. Why why do you think so, Bash is, is black and not the white one? Since he's maybe the greater good. Is it because um, he's like you said, it's maybe the view of the people where he's the evil one? I, I, I'm not. I think. Or, I think. Or is it self imposed oh, on good. him where he thinks I, he, I, he tries I, to be good but is unable to be and always does the thing that causes the, the, the worst damage? I think I think you're like I think there's an element of both to that for sure because like it does feel like that because knives is the white so the, the you know the evident good the mm -hmm. the angelic side um and that's almost like a self reflection because you know realistically he is he is doing what he feels needs done at any cost but he sees himself as angelic and that is like I'm I'm a savior to people this is the work I do is important, um, oh. and the I—I uh, I wouldn't say a savior to people. He doesn't ever believe he's savior to people. Well, he refers to Meryl sa as a, a parasite, savior to, a savior, a savior to his people. Yeah, his people. Uh, uh, but for Ash, I think I think it is an internal reflection. Yeah, where it's it's uh, Knives sees himself as the good here, and Vash. It's a reflection of the the decisions he's having to make. It's oh. that in order to do the good, mm -hmm. I have to do. The, the I have to do the bad. thing I don't want. Yeah, like I don't want it, the thing Wolfwood has told him. Mm. You know, it's like sometimes to be kind, you have to be cruel. Yeah, yeah, and so, yeah, I think there's an element of that in here. Can we we go back to the, the start uh, of yeah. the episode where? Uh, Meryl is is freeing Vash from the thing that I told him he float down. What I just remembered is that Knife does fly back in at that point and goes, "Get away from me, you parasite!" And That's goes for him, and then uh, Vash <laughs> prevents him from doing it somehow. I'm not sure. Yes, I can't remember what he does. Put a branch in the way. Yeah, I think he does. Actually, you're right. It's yeah. Because it's that's the moment we realise that he's back. Yeah. Like, um, back for good, baby. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Just just everything about this, and and yeah, like you say, like he's just the the kind of swell of music and the visuals and the colours and the the sort of emotional resonance of the the scene, and just this visualisation of him like literally tearing his being apart to try and. But the bit that gets me. The bit that gets me here, and the bit that made me ever so slightly tearful, is even at the end of it, it's like everything about it. Because you're always like, it's like, oh, it's all about knives. It's all about him. It's about power. It's about placement. It's about being better than everyone else. Mm -hmm. And his sort of last gasp as he's like literally being the flesh being torn away from his boat, burned away from his bones, mm -hmm. is him saying, "Is that please." I'm doing this for you, brother. Uh, and and it's like it's that desire is that I just want us to live in a in a utopia in a in a and it's like even to that point where he's been fighting him nonstop, his only desire is to have his brother be by his side. Yeah, yeah, still, yeah, and I, I think that's maybe. Maybe what he's just why he didn't like Remy saw is that Vash kind of you know got jealous. She, of the, she, oh, of she the, was in the way, yeah. Like she yeah. was, you know, you're like they were, they were, like you say, they're yin and yang. They're they're the two parts of the same soul. They're they're an inextricable pair that mm -hmm. almost feel like they can't exist without each other, and. Yeah. Vash doesn't want that, not because he doesn't care for his brother, but because he doesn't care for how his brother wants that to be. And and yet, no matter what Vash does, no matter how hard he pushes away, no matter how much he 
denounces what's being done to the very to the very last breath. All knives once is his brother by his side. Yeah. Uh, anyway, now Vash is in a free fall, blasting himself back to the, the uh, July. And the last thing you kind of see of that scene is him going. I don't think it does. It do a big explosion. I think it cuts out. I think they cut out. I think they cut that out. We, we, uh, we find out there's been an explosion because it sort of fades out and fades some time later, and there's sort of a, a, a you know, as you said before, like the kind of podcast or radio uh, in previous episodes, and in this one it's talking about the. Is it like it's been a couple of years since? Five years, you know I think. the. Yeah, however, however many years it's been since Vash the Stampede. Uh, yeah, this... you know he destroyed. He destroyed. Is it ninety percent of the population? It's like it's not insignificant. Yeah, he's he's certainly got. He destroyed July and all. Uh, all of July is gone, so the, the largest city was destroyed. Yeah, by Vash. The and of Stampede. course, he's now. He's now a fugitive again, and there's a reward on his his head, which is now sixty billion double dollars. The sixty billion double dollars that you get from the original. Yep. Uh, yeah. So he's still the fugitive uh, for that, and um, it cuts to Meryl uh, laying some tributes to uh, Roberto, I think, and maybe Vash. Yeah. Uh, I I think it's it's no it's it's paying our respects to Roberto, and then mm. uh, Zazi is there. Yeah, and it's like, oh, you know that people are coming, right? Yeah, yeah. The um, the twins have opened a a gateway. Yeah, and the uh, people are coming from Earth. Or I don't know if she says that, but like this, uh, I think I think she does say Earth. Uh, very yeah. specifically, because I think it's it's that thing again, where like obviously everyone here is from Earth, or well, the people who originally crashed on the planet were from Earth. So yeah, uh, and then uh, Meryl goes on her way. It's like, oh, all right, okay, cool, and she's just getting chewed out by her boss, saying, "Yeah, you want to work in the insurance uh, insurance part yeah. of our business? Blah blah." Because that's blah. where you'll be. Well, you be get back here to uh, headquarters and uh, team up with this newbie that we got. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Tom. 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 Millie Tom, Thompson. M- Millie Thompson. Dum dum dum. And, uh, and she kind of uh, she she kind of laughs and goes, "Ha ha, newbie." <laughs> yeah, newbie. <laughs> Stares at the the big empty pie, like the big full ashtray. Yeah. <laughs> And the gun, um, yeah, and that's that's her. She's heading off to pick up uh, Millie, her new partner. Uh, yeah, and then it cuts to um, a bar on it, uh, and a person playing a piano in the bar, blonde, yep. long hair, and potentially, uh, I assume it's um, a bartender or someone. Saying. I thought it was a kid. I thought it's it so. Like, so my, was... my take, my take on this mm-hmm. is that that is the bar in Genora Rock because there was blood on the doors. <laughs> I mean, it could be the bar, in Rock. and and I wondered if that the the person who was talking to him was the young kid. Tony's. Yeah, maybe. It could be. Um, I don't but, know if that's true, but it definitely well, it felt a little bit like that. But they don't recognise him as Vash the Stampede. He's no Everett or something. Yeah, I, I, they, I couldn't quite make out the name they it's, called him, but yeah, he's just stood he, there with he t- he, Yeah, he took that name in, uh, in the original series as well when he had that brief period of downtime. And I think that bar actually refers to the original, the first episode. Oh, really? Of the original series. Maybe, 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 maybe. 
Yeah, uh, that's more likely, actually. It seems um, like a random bar in the middle of nowhere. But the fact that it's got him as his um, pseudonym. counterpart name. Yeah, counterpart name, yeah. Uh, also doesn't really fit that. But, uh, yeah, but he's, uh, he's just standing, hitting the, the keys on the piano, hair down over his face, and uh, the person says to him, Hey, have you remembered anything yet? And he just doesn't respond. Yeah. Oh, also, see when he came out as as uh, of the plant farm in doing the fight, he uh-huh. had this had his uh, super saiyan here. Yeah. It was, it was all yeah, you're up. right. He did. It was all spiked up. I didn't even notice. Um, and then yeah, so they did that. It's talked about that. They don't really, it doesn't really say much. And then it cuts to the moon. Yeah, and then it's the the credit song. Yeah, and then an extra credit sequence. To the moon. Do, 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 do. No, that's the, that's the end song for um, Evangelion. What? Uh, <laughs> they, they, they had someone covering Frank Sinatra's song. <laughs> I still have PTSD from finishing that series. <laughs> the original? Yeah. Because they, they got a new one out, and I think it is... I haven't watched the new one. I think it's got more stuff in it. I think there's, there's, I mean, there's more I, explanation, it, maybe. It was great. Like, not... To, I'm not... I, I don't want to say it was bad, but my God, that show just leaves you a bit broken, I think. A bit more broken than it, it started you. I certainly didn't really leave with any clear answer of what actually happened. No, that's that much is definitely true. I mean, you had like a big head eating the planet uh, at the end and fucking Sinji being a depressing bastard all the way through. Uh, uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so some cutscenes flying over the moon looking at the, the big red planet. Uh, yeah. And you hear a broadcast of like, oh, the gates opened or it has energy or something like that. Blah, 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 blah. Get me a report on that. Uh, on what on what happened there. Give us a reading. Okay, independent Captain Sulu. Uh, <laughs> and then... Independent, independent Chronica. Uh, that's an independent chronica. Uh and uh <laughs> and then they say, Oh, that's seeds. Oh, they left Earth years ago. I, that's the thing is I don't think it's actually I don't think that it's people directly from Earth. I think it's another colony. Oh, you think it's another colony? Okay. Yeah, I I, I think also, that's the interpretation. Also Independent Chronica. Yeah, I mean, that's, another that sounds that sounds like a terrible back pain, chronic back pain or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm ind- I'm chronically independent. I'm chronically independent. I mean, isn't that what? Uh, well, I would say that was nice was, but he relied on the do- the doctor a lot and his henchmen. He did, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's it's. Since we're leading to more plants, independence, and potentially people who have managed to either live with humans or have uh, overcome and rule over the humans for their the weaker selves. Yep, that's pretty much the way I'm seeing this. Is that is that the independents are sort of in charge? So, yeah, it's... bring on season two. It's possibly that's what's going on here, yeah. Who knows? Anyway, um, and that's the end of the episode. That's it. The oh. last one done. Trigon written oh. off our list. This was so good. This was so good. So good. I, yeah. I, I noticed I had like a seven and a half on IMDb. Yeah. That's and good, Danny. It's that is pretty good, but I think if you if I look at sort of Attack on Titan and stuff like that, which is obviously like you know, it's yeah, it's up there. I think it's like a nine point two. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I 
it feels like 7.5 is a bit harsh. I feel that you're relying on people, uh, lots of people, to give a rating. Oh, to, yeah, yeah. To uh, even things out, because there's people that will just score it as one for, I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, it was not was not original series. It was not original series or one because of the um, the technical porn in the last episode. Or or the Vash redesign. I know there was a lot of ire from fans about the way he's been redesigned. I don't really see a full on issue. He's kind of like all the time now, rather than all the past. I think it's, a, it's even. It's a, it's a really good contemporary look, I think, for a character. I think they did a really good job of modernising him in a way that didn't detract so much from the way he used to look. So the thing with his, the way he used to look with his big spiky up here, right? Uh -huh. What did he use to gel it? <laughs> in a desert I mean, planet? Probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't talk about that. Uh... <laughs> No, but I, I think the other thing is as well. He's like he's a very. Uh, well, what do you think? He's a very traditional looking manga character. I wasn't going to go there. Where was that? Yeah, he was a very traditional manga character. <laughs> you know, it just like you know, trench coat and very stoic and yeah, yeah. I still want to know what why we didn't want to talk about. <laughs> Oh, have you ever seen uh, 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 something about Mary? Uh, actually, no, I haven't watched that movie. Well, uh, look that up, but try not to watch. Try not to, you know, let it ruin your search history. Um... <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I mean, I... I don't think you can. I think my mm. search history is already destroyed. Already gone. Already uh, gone. So how do you how do you rate this final episode then? I uh, I think it, yeah, I think it's a good final episode. It's obviously it's not the end of the the series. It's hopefully yeah. it's not an uh, Italian job with the bus hanging over the cliff. Type end. Yeah. It's like <laughs> what's happening? Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, I'm going to give it a nine. I, I'm I'm an easy ten on this one. This has everything I wanted in it. Like, uh, it, it really did. Like, it was. I, I've particularly the last few episodes. I've continued to talk about just the performances and every everything about the. You know, like um, some of the greatest dubbing performances I've heard. Uh, you know, more often than not, are just just good voice acting and like it's really entertaining and like uh, I think the Steins Gate uh, dub is great, but it's not particularly because of like the way the characters interact or anything. I think it's just that the voices tend to be very suitable for the characters mm -hmm. and the story is represented really well. Like, whereas like if I think back to the dub for Akira uh -huh. and you've got Tetsuo in, in Canada, uh -huh. uh, they're back and forth is incredible yeah you know, like the, so... it's those those voice those those uh those performances are so intertwined uh and i feel the same here as it's like the voices are so suited to the characters in like a really positive way mm -hmm. but on top of that the ability for them to give so much like like the i really do feel like the felt the whole yin and yang thing even for the performances it's like they just complement each other so well mm -hmm. uh I, I just just loved it and the, the action sequences and the, the choreography in the last episode is just second to none like it was really impressive and I, I know we talked a lot about the start like how we weren't overly thrilled about sort of a, a less traditionally drawn um show but that became less and less of a a thing to me as the show went on because it, like the i felt like the art direction and the like say the choreography and the way they, they obviously had storyboarded scenes and things like that was just done with a lot of intent and a lot of a lot of thought um yeah it just it, it was really good and, and like i said i think in a previous episode as well i feel like 
this is taking what Trigon did, which I really enjoyed, and has kind of improved on every part of that. It's given it's given purpose, it's given style, it's given flair, it's given a slightly better balance of comedy and, and tragedy. Um and it's definitely given the characters more gravitas than they did before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's it's probably one of the best last episodes I've watched in a long time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it. It could be leading up to because I'm pretty sure these twelve episodes are kind of before the original series oh totally this is literally like it turns out probably a prequel to the original show yeah yeah because i'm pretty sure uh, in the little series uh original series it already kind of had um uh july getting blown up by vash the stampede um which is why he was wanted which is of course now yeah. why he's wanted yeah this is what's happened because he but it was like a weird gimmick where he was like Nice gave him a gun, and that gun had like the the ability to transform his arm into a big plant cannon, which yep. wasn't really you know it just kind of a thing that happened. I can just do this now, and now we understand why he we understand a bit better in this one because obviously they put a bit more effort into it, and it's not it's not that sort of uh oh, and that's how. You know, Black Widow got that coat in the Marvel movies. This, did you ever want to know that? Because this is how that happened. It's like, no, it's like before there was a problem in not knowing. Yeah, you know, like it, it was it was missing information. Yeah, it happened. Uh, it, it happened, and I'm like, that's cool, but what and why? Um, and now being able to look at it through that lens, I think it's it's. I love the fact that they've been able to do it in a way that. Uh, it, it's reimagined what who Knives was as a character. Yeah, it's... in a way that I think makes him absolutely critical to everything. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that Knives is still alive. I also believe this. Yeah, because we don't see him die; we just see him melt away. Yeah, and I assume he's just regrown because in the original series it was essentially stated that they had. I think Vash does kill him in the uh, in July, or not kill him, but like yes, severely injure him in July, and he's yes. actually regrown himself. Regrowing, yeah, yeah, and I think essentially that's possible that's happening here, because uh, he's also been half vaporized. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the interesting thing is the new concept of the new plant person uh, looking yep. into the planet. So, Independent Chronica. Yeah, Chronica. Yeah, I mean, Chronicle, Chronica. I. Chronic. I, I just. Ooh, it, chronic. I just feel like it's. Yeah, That's, Independent Chronic. Isn't that, uh, that's some drug slash uh, yes, it's, Sonic it's character. Basically, right? the cr the chronic. Yeah, I sure, it's also sure, a Doctor Dre album. I'm sure, uh, sure, uh, Chronic was a a Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic the Hedgehog I, character. I think you might be right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I uh, I love this series. Mm -hmm. I, it was it was brilliant. I have been i've got my google uh search alert set up for the blu-ray release i've got them set up for the physical release of the soundtrack i will i want both um All yeah right. just just a real I, I, and actually one of the things i really hope that this does is i i would love for them to do a re-release of the original manga because i've never read it um and yeah. if they could do like a similar to like the um Orochi or or Helsing or Berserker or Parasite, like the hardback editions mm -hmm. um of that. I think that would be amazing. I'd love to 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 read those. Yeah. It's like I say it was a 
I saw a guy and he made up that ran statistic. He was like point nine six nine percent of uh people who watch the series have read the manga. And he was like, and that's, "That's mad. That's that's uh that's a lie. He was, it was a made up statistic." But also, I totally believe it. <laughs> not many people because it what's came out. It's not widely available. No, no, it's not. I, I'm sure it came out a long in the nineties at least. I was going to suggest it might even be the eighties, but I think you let's let's find out. When was it? No, ninety five. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. And then there was another series that ran. Mm. So it ran from ninety five to ninety seven. Um, mm. which is probably where the first anime comes in. Yeah, nineteen ninety eight. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Uh, and then there is a Trigon Maximum, that was ninety seven to two thousand seven, apparently. Okay. Uh, the original um, chapters were put together in three uh, Tankoban volumes, uh, like the stand the books. Um, I would love to see those get a, a re-release at some point. And yeah, I'd I'd love to read Trigon Maximum as well, like where that comes into it. It's fourteen volumes apparently. Trigon Maximum. Maximum so yeah, effort. like, oh, that's interesting. It was published by Dark Horse. Mm-hmm. That's who published the uh, Gantz books. Dark Horse does a lot of uh, manga, I believe. You there? Yeah, yeah, you can buy individual editions. There you go, man. Are they books though? Yeah. Maybe books. No. Oh. I think it's it's I think it's digital. Digital books. Ah, oh well then. I'll I'll wait I'll wait and see what happens because I my hope would be I think this has hopefully had like enough critical success for them to like I certainly know for a fact that I stayed subscribed to Crunchyroll. To watch this, yeah. So, I mean, like, just this. Uh, well, I guess like I've watched a couple of other things, but that like this was the thing that was like I was really driving forward with. Um, oh. and I would hope that if they hopefully they'll get a second season, like you say, and we can continue the story and see it sort of like in the same time frame as the original show. Um, and then. You know, who knows? Maybe there'll be a, maybe there'll be a re-release of the manga in the near future. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we get to see what happens and how they're going to ruin it. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, they could, could he get in better? Yeah, I mean. Uh, what's this? Trigun second edition announcement soon? Question mark. And Dark Horse just put a set of eyes as an emoji for a response to that person's question. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, can you do that? <laughs> Please do that. <laughs> no. Nope. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I'd lo- I'd love to see that. If they would, they would do that. Um, I'm super glad we we did this show. Uh, however, that being said, it's now done. Mm. Um, we've got a couple of things we're gonna um, hopefully do as bonus episodes over the next few weeks. Um, do we want to talk about them? Um, sure. Let's talk about them. What we're we doing? Okay, so, well, we, we, you and I went to see Suzume. We did, and uh, saw that. In I think we, think we'd like to, to record an episode on that. 
uh spoiler alert that film is good like without getting too much into it if you do get an opportunity to go and see this uh, i would absolutely recommend it mm -hmm. um and then we've also talked for a long while about doing uh the anime uh, uh yeah the the anime anthology uh, movie memories mm -hmm. um so we'll be doing some individual episodes on each of the the different parts there uh yeah. before we start our new season season 10 yeah that's done by the same creator who did um akira it's akira right yeah 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 it's the same guy i think that's how ek did that before akira i think i wow. think he, he did the uh, short stories manga short story things like that before he went and made akira yeah like, that's was, cool i don't think he was yeah i know he's it's been around for a while or was around for a while um but yeah memories it's it's good so I've I've never watched it, but we'll get to we'll get to talk about that, and then like I say, we'll we'll be back then with our season ten. Do you want to say what our season ten is going to be? Season ten, just like Vash Stampede and Knights, there it's uh it's all about angels fighting on the dance mat. That's not fighting on the dance mat, but it's all it's all about angels fighting. <laughs> uh, Angelic Lair by Clamp, I believe, did it. The same people that did Car Catcher Secure. Nice. Nice. Uh, I believe it was the people that uh, ended up creating it. Uh, yeah, I've always kind of liked it. I've uh, never seen it. So, I like, uh... I like the, the... Intensity. They did change the ending compared to the manga, though. Apparently. Well, which we'll is see. fine. It's I know that stupid the premise. last couple, of, obviously, the last couple of seasons we've done, we did Trigun and Chainsaw Man, which were both new mm -hmm. uh, things. And before that, what did we finish up before that? Was that Steins Gate? I think that was Steins Gate, yeah. Is that There's... really only two seasons ago? <laughs> yeah. We did that for like the better part, part of last year, man. I'm sure that was like nine or ten months we did that for. Uh, we did. We started it like in oh March god. and finished it in like November or something. Oh my god. That's such a long time. Yeah, well, we did, we did both the seasons that came out. And the movie. Oh, and the movies. And the OAVs. And the OVAs, yeah. Yeah, OVAs. Uh, yeah, we did. We did a lot. Yeah. But now that time has passed and we're yes. going to and rush through. We'll go, and, we'll and go back there. to the past. Do yeah. something. Do something a little bit older, a little bit more classic. And uh, yeah. um, what we'll try to do as well as we've kind of talked this through is that uh, we don't want it to, to last forever and ever and ever as a season so we'll probably try and do more than one episode in a, a po an episode of the podcast just to try and keep things keep things going mm. um hopefully that will that'll do all right going back to the, the old format yeah i think it i think it's okay to do it when there's a when it's a newer series and you know there's a a lot to talk about in some instances so well new series are uh generally a lot shorter in sense yeah. of episode wise um yeah that's definitely true it's, it's easier to do yeah um but yeah we'll uh that's it's happened you've reached not only the uh the end of another episode but the end of another season of uh who's that anime uh, we'll yep. be back next week um haven't decided which one we'll release first but we'll definitely be back with either either one of our bonus episodes for uh 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 Suzume or memories and uh after that we'll be back with uh with season 10 but you know who's that anime is an anime podcast and can be found where all good podcast apps can find podcasts uh our home is at anchor.fm forward slash who's that anime uh 
if you like what it is we do um it would be super cool of you to leave a review or maybe tell a friend what it is that we we do here we have fun talking about anime and such uh we have a facebook page that's facebook.com forward slash use that anime where we post the latest episodes of the occasional anime meme we have a discord server where the link mm-hmm. is in the show notes. We have a YouTube channel where Colin painstakingly puts together the video versions of these episodes. Um, and those are all up to date or will be up to date, hopefully, when we release this episode. So they should be releasing the same day. Um, you can find those by going to youtube.com and searching for at who's that anime. Uh, we also occasionally like to play games. Colin at twitch.tv forward slash couchfuel and myself at twitch.tv forward slash hail payment. Uh, you can find the archives of all the live streams and fun stuff we've done there on YouTube if you search at youtube.com for couchfuel or hail payment. And that's us. Yeah, that is it. That's us done for another week. Uh, we'll be back. Same any time, same any place. S- different Not anime. Different anime, though. Yeah. Anime. A different anime. How? Who would have thunk? Shit. Who would have thunk that? Who would have thunk it? I mean, we didn't just talk about it for five minutes, like. Certainly, part. we did. <laughs> oh wait! Oh, we did. Oh, we did. Oh. We thunk it. Oh, we thunk it. Uh, well, we so- thunk it. We thunk it. So anyway, um, that's us. We'll see you next week. Peace out, folks. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, boys. Bye.